you see it same thing? Yeah, that's a great point, actually. I like that. Um, so, uh, look in the news, and here's this guy, Tom Cotton, another asshole. Republican congressman from Arkansas went on the floor yesterday and compared Bush's terrorism record with Obama. This is unbelievable. Uh, he said five jihadists have reached their targets. I love that. What a lawyered phrase. Reached their targets uh, since Obama has been president. And he said zero after 9-11. I, I love the way they count terrorism with Bush after 9-11. <laughs> Except for that one horrible thing. So he mentioned the, uh, the Boston Marathon bomber, the underwear bomber, the Times Square bomber, the Fort Hood bomber, another guy in Little Rock, I don't remember, uh, reached their targets. Yeah, they killed 18 people. 9-11, yeah, 2,977. It's ridiculous. I mean, what he's insinuating is that President Obama is also a terrorist, as opposed to President, Bush, President Bush. I mean, I don't, this doesn't even pass the smell test. I mean, every president obviously wakes up every single day, looks at the threat assessment, says, what can I do to protect all of us? And so for him to suggest... But Obama did something about it. Well, ex exactly. I mean, but, but I mean, this, this is the problem. I mean, you're making a concession, which is exactly right. This has been part of the drumbeat against Obama, despite all the facts, despite getting, getting Bin Laden. Look, here's a big problem, because Tom Cotton's a smart guy. He's got a hard law degree, he did two tours in Iraq, but hyper-partisanship, he roast off, hyper-partisanship makes you stupid. And you start playing as a cheap seat, and that's what he does. So uh, I think people know this by now, that the deadliest event last week was not in Boston. It was in a town called West Texas, where there was a fertilizer plant that was storing 1,350 times the amount of ammonia nitrate, ammonia nitrate that would normally trigger government oversight. They have, uh, when you have 400 pounds of this stuff, you're supposed to let the Department of Homeland Security know. They had 270 tons, so they were a little underweight. And you know, Rick Perry runs around the country trying to poach business. He was here a couple of months ago, and I think he was in Chicago this week, trying to poach businesses to come to Texas, saying, you know what, we like it better here, we don't have regulation. Yeah, but shit blows up. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, uh, <laughs> that boom you hear is the sound of the free market. Uh, and look, among the foreign countries that I visit, I love Texas the best. I have a great, <laughs> I have a great time whenever I go to the country of Texas. But, but this is they are ground zero for this anti-regulation culture. And, it, and, and, and really, I mean, shouldn't there be a little more oversight? It, isn't there a place for government here? Certainly. And uh, speaking of foreign countries or other countries, you know that uh, that a factory collapsed in Bangladesh, and uh, right as we sit here right now. I think the last count was a little over 300 people have been discovered dead. Some are still caught in the rubble. Why? To make the clothes that many of us wear. Right. And so in this global economy, there seems to be no pulling back on what America and Europe can do. Uh, it's, you know, uh, this isn't the first time this happened in England. No, 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 it's not just the clothes. It's, it's our computers. It's, and all, it's, it's all the things it's that we consume. Right. Right. But, but, but this is, the, the larger point, I think, is this is a good example of where we have fictitious Right? We pretend that it's about, you know, oh, it's about um, no regulation, free market. Um, and, and, but these absolutes are idiots, right? Because they're not actually what we're talking about. Of course there's a proper rule for government, but people parade under the banner that there's none on friendly free markets. And, and what that reality does is at least it should blow it up, as you just said. And, and I understand why people get more freaked out when something blows up, especially by terror. But, you know, terror has killed since 9-11 3,000. And in that decade of 2000, 2010, uh, here's what really killed me. The road. Are you done? 445,000 deaths. What's your toy? Uh, That's hospitals. Toy. 480,000 yeah, people one. have died. And That's that just from infections. Not infections you came into the hospital with. What's your toy? Infections they gave you when That's you were toy. there because the doctor wore a tie and that died. Uh, and I don't think that's even that a hospital one? error, too, if you count that as more. And the most dangerous place, your couch. Who's your mouse? Because if you sit on it, three million people die from obesity-related uh, diseases. And, and environment. The environment. Yeah. I know global 